Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. So today we are getting our Pontins fix. We have come to Pontins Camper Sands, which is where Kaylee works. Just for a little bit of context for you if you're new here, hello. My name's Shannon, I used to be a blue coat for Pontins. My sister is also a blue coat and she's worked for like Park Dean and things as well. And she's currently working as a blue coat dancer at Pontins Camber Sands. So we've come down to visit her. We used to go into Breen, so this is the first time we've actually been to Camber. And um, we're basically gonna show you around. We've actually been here a couple of days. I'm here with um, mine and Kaylee's friend, Keely. We've not seen each other for like, what is it, three years? Three years for us two. Yeah, I haven't seen Keely in three years and Kaylee hasn't seen Keely in like four plus years. So it's been really nice to catch up. I filmed some bits on the first day where we surprised Kaylee. It was a little bit of a surprise for her to see us. So we got her reaction of that. And then we spent the whole evening in the entertainment venue. So I ended up being pulled up for one of the game shows, which was very embarrassing. And then we watched their Motown show, which was amazing. So I will put all of the footage of the first night in there now. All right then, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It is now showtime, so please, well, it's not showtime, it's Hello. <laughs> so, this is Shannon, everyone. Everyone say hi, Shannon. Not five minutes ago, and now you're my fairy godmother. Then anything is possible, right? Well then, you could change it all. You could make it all happen. So Shannon here used to be a blue goat. Give her a whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, she went with us in Breen Sands. But now she's here. She's not a blue goat anymore. No, 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 no. She's here to slay the game. Ha ha! Strictly can't stand. How is it food to be on the other side? Are you drinking it? <laughs> Come on, ladies. Take to the stage. Ha! Oh! Okay. Right, Kaylee, how old are you? 22. And how long have you been doing uh, breakdancing for? 22 years. 22 years. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, of boys and girls, please welcome to the stage your blue coats win.
that was everything from the first night. It was a really good first night, actually. And now it is day three. No, day four. And today is panto day. So we are going to go watch Kaylee and the team perform in their panto. It's Cinderella again this year. Obviously, it was Cinderella last year, but that was at Bream, which is why... It's Cinderella again for these guys. So we're gonna go and watch that. And then I think we'll probably take you around the whole park with us to be fair, because it's actually really nice. I prefer it to Breen, which is something I didn't expect. Canberra seems to get a lot of hate. So I was quite nervous to come here. But hopefully the rest of this video will help you decide if you wanna come here or not. We'll show you around the whole area and then we're gonna go in for the entertainment in the evening tonight as well, but yeah. Like I said, we're going to go and watch the guys in Cinderella in their panto and then we'll take you through the rest of the holiday with us. Enjoy the video! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for Cinderella! Woo! Good afternoon, everybody! Oh, no, I said, good afternoon, everybody! Good afternoon! Let me introduce myself. I'm Buttons. Oh, I've got a new game here. Ready, 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 ready. <laughs> I bet you ten pence I can kiss you on the cheek without touching ya. Drum roll, please. <laughs> oh, buttons, you did touch me. I know, but it was worth ten pence. <laughs> 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 The eye candy has arrived! <laughs> it's time to find me husband number four. Oh. Let's go, Dexter. Hit my music! <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm trying! I'm trying! <laughs> How do you know my name? I know more about you than you could ever imagine. One day I shall repay your kindness, but I must go now, Cinderella. Farewell. Straight on baby. Still, now I can help her. It was me. I really am the master of disguise. What's up, gang? What's up, 
one, Kay. Oh, oh, excuse me, excuse me. Do you know where I might find the prince? I need a ticket for the ball. I'm the one responsible for handing out the tickets. Just the bloke then. Can you have one? No, goodbye. Oh, you <laughs> I'm Dan Deeney. I work for the prince. What's my name? Wonky button. <laughs> <laughs> Buttons, what a funny name, what's your brother called, Sip? Oh yeah, well what's your name again? Anadin. Nandini, actually. Now there's a funny name. Oh, Mr. Prince, Mr. Prince! Uh, yes, that's right. Have you got any tickets for the ball? I asked Snooty Boots over here, but he wouldn't give me one. So you really do want to come to the ball? Oh no, it's not for me, it's for... Well, it's for someone very special. You see, her sister won't let her go to the ball, but I know it would make her so happy. And if she was happy, then I'd be happy. Now, Cinderella, where is your ticket? I won't tell you. I said, where is your ticket, Cinderella? I will never tell you. Oh, ha, here it is. <laughs> now, boys and girls, should I give Cinderella her ticket back? Yes. yes. Should I give her her back? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. There you go, Cinderella. You can't be nice up. Yeah. Do you like me now? Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Are you happy now? Yeah. Woohoo! Now, Cinderella, do me one favour. Tear it up. <gasps> you heard me. Tear it up into teeny, tiny pieces. More! Oh. Be going to the party. <laughs> Boo! Don't you just love me? No! Oh, yes, you do! Oh, no, we don't! Oh, yes, you do! Oh, no, we don't! Oh, shut up! So, I'd help if you recall. You will indeed go to the ball.
contestant number two.
a whole lot later now. This is Keely, by the way. Hello. <laughs> Panto was amazing, wasn't it? Very, very good. So good. We loved it. I don't think I've ever laughed so much at a Panto before. It was weird, like, knowing what it's like to be in it versus what it's like to watch it, it's so different. And it was so funny, Connor was cracking me up. So if you're ever coming down here or to any Pond Inns, go and see their panto, because it takes a lot of hard work and it is so much fun to watch. I'm heading back to the chalet after just spending some time with Kaylee and some of the team. We're going back to the chalet to pick up our half board bands, because we're half board on this trip. And then we're gonna go and get some food. And we thought, whilst we're going down there, we'll show you some of like the main reception area and all that, because it's actually really cool. I actually really like this one compared to Breen. I think for a kid especially, it looks really, really cool. So I'll make sure I show you as much as we can of sort of like the facilities and stuff. It's a very hot day today, by the way. We are sweating. I didn't say it earlier, but the show that we watched, the Motown show on the first night was brilliant. There is another show on tonight, so we're gonna watch that one, but they are the only two proper like evening shows that we would have seen on this trip, so. Hopefully we'll be able to come back soon and see some more. We've already made plans to come back for Halloween already, haven't we? Yeah. So hopefully we'll get the new Halloween show in when we come back. But yeah, for now, we're gonna go back into the chalet. So we're staying in chalet 399. We're in the yellow section for anyone that has been here before. And this is what the chalet looks like. We've got a little sofa bed here. Table, kitchen, and then ignore the state, but bedroom. <laughs> And then bathroom, and it literally is just a bathroom, guys, because I don't know if you can tell, but we don't have a shower. So we've actually been showering at Kaylee's <laughs> for this whole trip. So yeah, thanks Kay for that. I also didn't mention it earlier because we were in a rush today, but the team gave us a really, really nice welcome. Like obviously, as you've seen at the beginning of this vlog, we surprised Kaylee. And then I think Liam was probably even more surprised on stage than oh, Kaylee God. was. And I wish I caught that on film. They put my like blue coat picture and that up on the stage and everything. It was a really nice welcome. Thank you to those guys for embarrassing me. But it was actually kind of nice, I guess. Now we're going to sort ourselves out de-sweat because it's such a hot day. So apologies for the state of me. I actually look awful right now. And we are going to pop back down to the main venue and show you all of that. So over there is, that's where you entrance to the park and there's a little, a little mini roundabout. And then on the left you have a little park. And then on this side is the way you go to like the main venue and everything. Further up the road, you have this little jump and bounce section on the right. And you also have like the little dinosaur section around there and a little mini shop and you've got crazy golf. There's loads of stuff here, to be fair. And it's like right at the front. So it's really exciting as soon as you get here. The sun is blaring, by the way. So apologies for that. Keely is hiding herself behind a fan. <laughs> and then just here, this building here is the main entrance. So we're gonna go in there. I think it's quite impressive. I know I'm a little sad though, but I think it's really cool. Here we are. So this is the main reception. Okay, so I think there might have been an accident just by the front there. So I'm gonna show you that in a second. But we've come through. This is the Lunar Show Bar. So this is like right underneath. So their main venue is actually upstairs. We're gonna show you that in a second, but we can't get to it. This is the little Meet the Blue Coat board. Look how cute they all look. There she is, an old photo, so she'll actually hate me doing that. And yeah, toilets are there. Big map, so where we're staying. What block were we in? 41. So we're in this block here. And now we're down, obviously, in the main venue. But that's what the whole site looks like. And it's a one-way system, so when you come in here, you go all the way around. So it's quite easy to understand it, to be fair. And they have got go-karts, but they don't seem to be working. And this, apparently, they've moved to over here somewhere. So there was like a little section there. They're all doing a little bit of a switcheroo. But yeah, now we're in the arcade. And we are gonna try out the dance mat. <laughs> this is the menus. I didn't realize there was a menu. This is right by the restaurant, which is completely the other side of the arcade as you come in over there, which we'll be going into later. And I believe it's open from six till eight. Is that right? Oh, and breakfast is nine till 11. Dinner is six till eight. They recently changed that, so now you know. They do different things every single day, which I wasn't aware of actually. Here's the dance mat, taking back our childhood. <laughs> I've never seen a teddy of Safari Sam either, ever. Is he a bad guy? He's not the bad guy, he's just grumpy. We're not allowed to say he's bad. Grumpy. <laughs> he's grumpy. <laughs> so Luna's is there, and on the way out, you've got all of the live entertainment guides on here. Everything. That's your favourite. So Thursday today we've got 
Blue Coat Showtime. Road to Rio, so this is what we're coming to watch tonight. But that's all we're coming out for tonight, isn't it, really? Yeah. Yeah, and maybe the boogie with the blue. Oh, we'll do that. We'll definitely do that part. Right, let's see if we can get a look at this. But this is what I'm saying, right? Look at this. So the upstairs bit is like a giant octopus. Can we go around here now? Yeah, we can. Let's show you. So this is where you would come here for the main reception. Your reception's here, which is like all shipwreck theme. And this is like, you've got a whale. And there's how octopus thing. I just think that's really cool, do you not? And then there's your stairs that go up. And then, should we go into the main venue? Let's go up and show you. So if you go left at the top of the stairs, this is where you get to the main, like, fun factory, as they call it. And then there's also, like, a games room in here where you play pool and stuff. The games room is in there. And you can vaguely see there's pool tables, there was darts and chess and stuff, ping pong and stuff like that. Then this is your main venue, which you would have already seen. So your bar's in that corner, and then you've got the blue coat shop. It's pretty simple. But even that at the back's cute with all the croc crew. And we're going to go the other side. Don't know what's there, but we'll show you. Okay, so we got to this side and it's just another entrance to the main venue. And there's toilets here, by the way. And a little employee of the month section, which is really cute. <laughs> we're back downstairs now, but I just want to take one more look at this because this is so cool. I'm sorry. But like, have you ever seen uh, a Pontins reception so fancy? No, you have not, I'm telling you. So we've just come back out of the main reception area and then turn left down this little side road. This is the new d dinosaur bit that I was talking about, by the way. So they've moved it to there. I think they're making it a bit smaller. And then on the left, you've got the Queen Vic. Every Pontins has a Queen Vic. So that is there on the left. And then the H2O zone, you can see the sign at the end there. It's just on the left behind that. Everything's all together, which I really like. Whereas at Breen, everything was sort of spaced around the park, which I guess was nice. I don't know, I quite like it that it's all pretty close to the entrance of the park and it's all close together. Very convenient. Yeah. And then that's the H2O zone over there, which is obviously the swimming pool. Anyway, that's pretty much the majority of the park. Well, facilities wise, that's everything. On this side, like round, <laughs> right around the back, there's a lot of sheep so if you're nah. if your chalet is like right by the back or like facing onto the back of the park you're just gonna get meh, like the entirety of your trip yeah they're everywhere there's literally like just behind that fence they'll be like right next to the fence and there's loads of them they're cute they are cute also you know the little red bikes that you can get they're also here and i believe there's a little station like opposite the golf bit at the crazy golf section. We saw him earlier today, there was a man sat out there with some of them, but obviously he wasn't there now because it's probably too late for them. But if you wanted to know where they were, that's where they are. But we're now gonna head back to the chalet and then we're gonna go and watch Road to Rio. So we'll catch up with you then. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please welcome to the stage
Woo! Give it up for our singers, it's Tonya! Wow. Actually, wow. Okay, so it is now the next day and I am home. I said goodbye to Keely a little while ago. I didn't film any of the journey home because I wanted to end on an amazing note, which is obviously that show. We watched Road to Rio, which is the show you would have just seen. It was insane. Kaylee actually isn't in that show. It's one of the shows she isn't in. So there's at least one show for every single show team member that they can't be in purely just because of days off, because they've got so many shows they can't fit them in in a week. So for that reason, Kaylee wasn't in Road to Rio. She's got it because it's actually her favourite show, even though she's not in it. And it was insane. I don't know if you noticed, but obviously we filmed the last little bit of the show on the dance floor because I physically couldn't sit still any longer. I had to get up and dance. Like, the, the smart kind of music though, to be fair, I did really love it. I just wanted to get involved get on the dance floor and have a little boogie. Me and Keely were having so much fun. I'm sorry if all of the footage is a little bit shaky. That's the reason. I, really, I just couldn't sit still. I was having too much fun. But anyway, so yeah, Road to Rio was amazing. So the guys should be so proud of themselves. It was insane. Also, at the end, obviously, they usually finish the night with a good old-fashioned boogie with the blues. They just do a couple of party dances, depending on what they've got time for. Um, and all the blues get on stage and do that. And it was, like, one of my favourite parts of being a blue coat. And Connor, bless his heart, pulled me up on stage to do it with them and it was so cute it, honestly it was, it was so nice it was just the perfect end to the last night of our holiday so super grateful for that little extra Keely was like beaming on the dance floor watching us <laughs> all do it we just got like a such a huge warm welcome from those guys as a team and obviously as an ex-blue I find it really really nerve-wracking going back even though I'm like friends with them all and obviously my sister literally works there but I just find it very nerve-wracking to go back to it so yeah it's nice to get that response when you turn up and then just feel very welcomed back into it all instead of feeling like on edge the whole time it's just a very nerve-wracking thing <laughs> but yeah the guys made me feel so comfortable and it was just so lovely so again a huge thank you to all of those guys, especially obviously Kaylee and then Connor and Liv, who is the manager and the assistant manager for that team, felt amazing. So thank you to those guys. All in all, Canberra itself, I actually really enjoyed. It was all obviously really, really nice to experience the holiday with Kaylee and obviously for her to see what Kaylee does and to see sort of the life we've been living for the last few years. She actually came to visit me in my first season, I believe. So it was good for her to obviously see then Kaylee doing the same thing. But anyway, we are home, but well, I am home. All in all, really nice break. Really enjoyed seeing Kaylee again, obviously spending some time with her, but also watching her do her thing with the rest of the team as well. And yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog. Let me know what your partner's experiences have been and let me know what you think. Thank you guys for watching this video. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye!